Hello and welcome back to another full moon video. I cannot believe we are talking about the full moon in September of 2021. This, uh, this energy is helping us shift along so rapidly right now. If you have not felt the energy of this full moon yet, you are in for an absolutely wild ride. <laughs> Personally, for the last week or 10 days, there have been huge glitches in the current matrix. Have you been experiencing them? If you have, please comment below. I'm so interested as to what is going on with you guys at the moment, because personally, like I say, I'm just blown away by the amount of absolutely incredible things that I'm witnessing through walking through the forests and, you know, just sat here in my apartment doing some work. So it's extremely interesting. And I'm very lucky um, to have had some conversations with my girlfriends who are experiencing a really similar thing. So please do comment below if you have been experiencing glitches, whatever they may look like. Technology has been so interesting this last week. Um, for me personally, I've had fire alarms going off when there's no, there's no smoke or anything like that. Um, my laptop just every now and again just decides to stop doing whatever it's doing. Um, my phone just decides to call people. It's extremely interesting. And we are in the shadow period um, for Mercury retrograde. So it isn't it isn't unusual to experience um, technology issues through that, but it's been extremely profound, more than I've ever remembered um, at this particular period. So the other thing that I just wanted to bring into consciousness was the intense energies that have been hitting us hard. So we are being asked to level up. I've spoken about this so much. I know I don't need to mention it again, but I'm going to. We've been asked to level up so hard over the recent um, times that our physical vessels are like, oh my gosh, what are we doing here? How are we growing? Like, you know, what's coming next? And we're having to sleep more. We're having to like stop and think, oh my gosh, I need to go out and get into nature and things like that. So please know if you are feeling any of that, it's absolutely normal, whatever that is right now. So this full moon is going to catapult your intuition to a whole new level. And I appreciate I've been saying that over the next over the last few months. However, this one is going to heighten your spiritual growth to a huge, huge degree. You will start to see people stepping into having discussions around consciousness and things that are conscious that you would never have thought of that. Um, a really good example is I had my mum and my stepdad with me um, this week and all of a sudden we're having conversations that I never thought that we would have. I was sharing insights over the last um, five years whilst I've been traveling the world and, and experiencing lots of different things. I was actually able to share some of that with them and they didn't freak out. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Literally, the spiritual growth, the spiritual journey is going to a whole new level in this full moon energy. On top of that, I am told we are going to be bringing in a lot of fortune. So not necessarily monetary fortune, but lots of luck is going to be coming through, which is quite interesting because obviously the energies are quite heavy, they're quite profound and lots of things are coming to the surface for the big reveal. So it's very interesting that we're also being shown that there is gonna be a lot of luck that comes out of this. It's time to surrender to the known and the unknown. That's a very clear message, this full moon. Trust this path is exactly where we are required to be at this moment. As I always say, guys, please know if you were supposed to be anywhere else, you would be there. OK, recognize what you need to go through right now. Be in this present moment. Do not be shocked if this full moon you are experiencing emotions surfacing all whilst watching things unfold dramatically around you. Yes, there is going to be some big things that are coming up into the consciousness, you are going to be having emotions that surface that you feel you've dealt with, you feel you've moved on from, trauma is going to be making an appearance where, you know, you think you've got your stuff together. 
if this is you, if you are going through that, whether already or on the full moon or around the full moon, remember to ground in nature, get outside, kick your shoes off, go and sit up against a tree um, or get into water. Now, if you're like, yeah, that's all good and well, Lucy, I'm nowhere near a beach, I'm nowhere near a lake, get in your bath, get in your shower. If you can get in a bath, put lots of salt in it. I personally use magnesium flakes. It just helps you ground back into your body. So figure out what you can do and go do that. Honestly, go find a piece of grass, even if it's on the side of a road, go find a piece of grass and just stand there or sit there or do whatever it is that you need to do. So something I have experienced personally, like I was just sharing with you around my mum and my stepdad a few days ago, um, is that we're going to be having a lot more healing discussions OK, if you have been loving and patient with people, they are going to be coming to you and having healing discussions. Maybe you will be speaking about your healing or your ascension. Maybe they will come to you with questions as to what is going on around the world. Don't be surprised. This is the time where all of this is coming to the surface. A lot of you would have noticed recently dreams are so much more intense than they've ever been. They are vivid. Honestly, I've had some of the most incredible dreams. So my self-love club and conscious conversation communities have been sharing a lot on this subject over the past week, particularly. We are in a time whereby we do not know where the illusion is starting and finishing. So please recognize that that dream state, that sleep state, that super conscious state, whatever you'd like to call it, is actually blurring the boundaries. You might wake up and think, there's no way that was a dream. That's absolutely okay. A recommendation I've got for you is just track it. Track everything that you're dreaming right now because we're in a really beautiful period of time. So I'm going to give you a little ritual to do. It's not a very big one tonight, guys. Um, this moon is, is going to do the job for us pretty much. Now, full moon is going to be around midnight, one o'clock in the morning here in the UK on the 21st of September. So best to do this ritual from the evening of the 20th for about a week, because that's when the energies are going to be the most powerful. OK, so for the ritual, you are going to need a cleansing tool of choice. A candle, optional, music, optional, essential oils, incense, optional, paper and pen. OK, so basically what I, I would like you to do with this is get your space into such a beautiful area that you can literally allow the flow. It's all about flow. It's all about recognizing what you are choosing. OK, really important time. So as always with a ritual please cleanse your aura okay so you need to just cleanse your auric field with a cleansing tool of your choice i either use sage um palo santo or incense predominantly but you can use salt you can use essentials just use whatever it is that you normally do to clean your space and what i would be saying um now as you are cleaning your auric field is please release all emotions that i that no longer serve me I release everything. I release everything that does not serve me. Okay, and just clean your field. If you feel drawn to say anything else, make it about the emotions, okay? Please, like we wanna be removing the stagnant energy, the emotions from you. Now, same, as you go around your room and cleanse your um, space, Please ask for any lingering emotions, any stagnant energy to be removed from your space so that you can welcome in every insight, every vision, every characteristic for your life going forwards that you would like to bring in. OK. Then I would like you to sit in a peaceful meditation for about 10 minutes. And this is where the candle should be burning, the music should be on. I always suggest solfeggio frequencies, go to wherever you are drawn, maybe have some essential oils diffusing or some incense burning or both. Or maybe you've got um, candles that you burn and they like scented candles or something like that. Just get your space um, into, uh, into um, a flow that just feels really, really beautiful, homely, warming, connected. It's very important. 
then as you sit in meditation for 10 to 15 minutes, you know, just set an alarm for yourself if you're if you're like me and you could go off for hours at a time um, and just set the intention that you are going to release every emotion that has stopped you going after all that you desire, you deserve, you wish for. Release all of it through this meditation. Allow them to surface. You may find yourself getting a little bit emotional as you're doing the release work. And sit with it. Allow that beautiful sense of your candles and your music, literally just to allow everything to flow away from you. Almost envisage it just washing off of you whilst you're in this meditation. Once you've done 10, 15 minutes or whenever you feel comfortable to come out, grab a piece of paper and a pen and write down all of the characteristics for the things you choose that you do not currently have. So, for example, if you are calling in a partner, what are the characteristics you choose them to have? If you're looking to move house, what are the characteristics you would like to have in your house? What are you actually looking for? Maybe you've got some life questions going on right now. Maybe you're questioning relationships or something. What is it that you choose for your life? Like what are the fundamentals? What are the characteristics? What are the core values? What are the core beliefs that you choose for your life going forwards? Maybe it's a pet that you're calling in. You know, maybe like myself, you're looking for a horse. Um, you know, what is it that you wish from that horse? What do you want that horse to come in and do in your life? You know, do you want it to be excitable and adventurous? Would you like it to be somebody that just, you know, loves on you and, and makes you feel safe and secure? And there is none of the flightiness. Get super clear on exactly what it is that you are after. Then I would like you to sit with your piece of paper. Once you've got it all jotted down, sit with your piece of paper, allowing the music to flow over you. Just sit with your eyes closed for about two minutes. And just envisage what you've just spoken about. And then I would like you to reread it. Read it. Allow it to go into your cells, okay? And the last part of this ritual for this full moon, go and jump in the shower. Allow all of that stagnant energy that you've just called out during your first meditation to just wash over you. And if you feel drawn, maybe you'll take some essential oils in with you or something like that, but just allow all of the stickiness, all of those energies to just once and for all disappear. And please watch it as it goes down the plug hole. Watch it just swirling away from you and just say to it, thank you so much. You've served me so far, but no longer are we going to stay together. No longer are you going to hold me back. No longer am I going to give you my power. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but it feels so right. It feels so right for this. We need to remove the emotions. We need to bring in exactly what it is that we are looking for. We are stuck in this old space right now, ladies and gents. So please, please, please let me know how this sits with you. Um, let me know if it's something that you're going to join in on. Let me know when you're going to do it. Um, let me know once you've done it. Please comment in the comments below so that I can see if you guys need any support. Um, I love you guys so much. All I'm going to say to you is just buckle up for the next few weeks. It's going to be an interesting one going through the rest of September and into October. I'm here with you. I'm walking shoulder to shoulder with you. I'm walking side by side. Please do know that I am here no matter what. Okay. I love you guys to the moon and stars. Please let me know you're experiencing your experiences as you um, release during this period. I love you guys. Take care.